I came with an example. Let me dig that out. I, I think it's mostly kind of getting used to the examples. Unfortunately, I'll have to mention it in a bit, or if people have examples for me to do uh, after when we get to the specific questions, that'll be great. Uh, but this one didn't have a PPM in there, so sorry about that. Uh, but let's give this a try. This is a classic style of question. I'll have to do this quickly because we're running out a little bit of time. Uh, ethanol water, we're dissolving uh, that much ethanol in water to produce 100 milliliters total. So that means 100 <coughs> minus 10, uh, I put in 90 milliliters of water. Hopefully that's okay. So in 10 of this to make 100 total. Uh, the volume percent, by the way, people get confused, that's the initial volumes being tossed in. So this volume percent, uh, it's just going to be uh, 10 divided by 100 uh, times 100. So this answer is 10%. Remember I want three sig figs, so get that right. And that's always the same, I want three sig figs. Okay, next, the other ones are a little bit more difficult, so we actually have to do a bit of math. Uh, mass percent, mole fraction, molarity, molality. For all of those, I'm going to want the mass and moles of everything. So when I'm doing cons, a one of these sort of questions, I want to find the mass and moles of everything I can. So let's do E, ethanol first. Ethanol, I have 10 uh, milliliters. I can use the density, uh, 0.789 grams. Uh, per milliliter, and I get 7.89 grams of ethanol. I can take that 7.89 grams of ethanol, use its molar mass, know the formulas, notice the formulas given there at the top. The molar mass of ethanol is 46.07 from the periodic table. Make sure you can get that. I got 0.171 moles of ethanol. So there's my ethanol. I think that I got that settled. Now, uh, I don't, uh, I also have the solution density. Let's go to the solution density now. So this will be for, uh, I'll put, I'll just write solution. Solution. Uh, I know that there's a hundred milliliters of solution. I know that it's 0 0.982 grams per milliliter, so I get 9.82 grams of solution. So that's the total mass. Solution is solute plus solvent. So I can find the mass of water just by subtraction. So let's do that. Uh, water, W, will be 9.82 grams minus 7.89, I just found that number. Uh, grams and I got uh, a number. <coughs> Where was that number? Oh, 98.2. Oh, nice. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. Oh, gosh. There we go. 98.2 minus 7.89. I got. 90.31 grams, I'll put W for water. So I just subtracted solution minus solute to get water. So there's a mass of water. And then let's get the moles of water, 90.31 grams of water times its molar mass, 18.02 grams per mole from the periodic table, and I got five, 0.01 moles. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a bummer. Okay, there we go. Moles of water. And I think I'm ready to do all my calculations now. Mass percent. Mass percent would be 100 change the percent. 
the mass of my solute, 7.89, divided by my total mass, 98.2 grams. And I got 8.03%, so that's this number right here, 8.03. Mole fraction, I'll do that on a different page. Mole fraction of the ethanol is the moles of ethanol, that's 0 0.171, divided by the total moles, 0 0.171 plus 5.01. And I got 0 0.0330, no unit for the mole fraction. Next was molarity, capital M. That's the moles of the solute, 0 0.171, divided by the total volume, 100 milliliters. I need to change that to liters, so that's 1,000 milliliters per liter. And I got, I guess just 1.71 molar. And finally, the molality. That's the, molar, uh, the moles divided by the kilograms of the solvent, which is water. And that was 0 0.09031. I changed the grams into kilograms, so I had to move the decimal point over. And this turned out to be 1.89 molal, lowercase m. This would be a pretty standard problem, but they come worded in totally different ways, so make sure you can uh, solve it according to how it's worded. So PPM, I can do one of those in a bit. Uh, I think I'll have to pause right there. The Rowles Dalton, I recommend uh, come to class on Tuesday. I'm going to do one of those. Was there a question right here? No? Yes. Oh, uh, how do you know what the solvent is? The solvent is typically water. Uh, sometimes we don't have to specify, but we can say the word aqueous. And by that we mean it's water. So, unless otherwise specified, it's probably water. Yeah.